Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a good week. Look what finally came home from the machine shop. Uh, it's been a real busy year for me, haven't had a whole lot of time to do a lot of things. Um, I've had stuff that's needed my immediate attention. I'm sure everybody adulting understands what that's all about. But it is back. This is the engine that is going in my 87E150. Uh, as y'all probably remember, I had gone through and done a 300 and wasn't going to have enough room for the intake manifold and the headers I wanted to run and wasn't really any point in having this neutered engine with over 11 and a half to one that wasn't even hardly going to run on pump gas only to probably make 220 horsepower by the time you killed it with a, a two barrel, a crappy intake and EFI exhaust manifolds. This is a far superior choice for a heavy trucker van. Uh, in fact, this is probably the ideal 351 you would want to build for a truck or a van or anything that's over 3,800 pounds, not using a, an ultra-high stall torque converter or any sort of really crazy radical gear. So I will take a moment and walk you through it. First of all, it is an early 90s truck block. And as you can see, it was originally a flat tappet block. doesn't have the uh, the actual threaded bosses for the spider that holds the um, factory dog bones as they call them down or you know any of that well actually that would be a gm this is a ford scratch that i've built both this year so forgive me my brain's a little scrambled the fords they no they, they have dog bones too it's just a little different than a gm but uh what we have here i have uh lenati retrofit hydraulic roller lifters i have a lenati hydraulic roller cam uh Camshaft fairly conservative because I mean I do drive my stuff pretty much every day and vehicles kind of heavy and I wasn't going to put a whole bunch of gear in it and a whole bunch of converter the cam of course hydraulic roller uh, it's 206 intake 216 exhaust at 50 duration 477 lift intake and exhaust on a 112 with four degrees of advance ground into it with uh, a 108 degree intake center line for the cam geeks out there so pretty much idle to 5000 cam uh, that cam probably would have been okay with a factory e7 head you know would have been a, a 270 275 horse engine but the heads are actually where this engine got really good so these are not e7s these are gt40s three bar gt40s with uh a trick flow, I believe it's part number 2500, 100 valve um, spring kit. It's the kit they sell to upgrade all your factory Ford cast iron heads. Um, comes with locks, keepers, springs, valve seals. In my opinion, best value on the market, unless you're running something more than 550 lift, because I think like the limit's like 550 lift. Uh, have factory pedestal mount 1.6 Ford rocker arms, because anything under 500 lift, I don't really think roller rockers are worth messing with these gt40s are ported uh the air injection lumps are ground out of them and they're port matched uh, to a aftermarket header gasket the block was bored 30 over and decked it has a factory style dish piston in it but with the gt40s having a slightly smaller chamber it's still around nine to one uh when I put the water pump on, I'm going to have to swap plates on it because I'm using an old style timing cover. And you know, your late model water pumps actually have a different port arrangement, but you can swap the plates around on the back of them because I'm running a, a late model serpentine belt setup on this engine. But I wanted uh, to use just a regular old mechanical fuel pump to simplify my life. Uh, factory oil pan because I don't think we're at a level of engine that's really going to need much more than that but overall pretty nice engine should definitely break 300 horsepower but should make a ton of torque hopefully we will see but uh yeah pretty nice engine I'll be topping it with an Edelbrock Performer 351 for the folks out there that like visuals oh, I'll even slide it on well, you can see what it'll look like. Let's see, do this with two hands. There we go. So there's the intake I'll be running on it. Again, very conservative intake. See, I remember heavy van, 
heavy weight. It has a 308 gear in it. I'm probably going to stick a 355 gear in it. I have a factory high stall torque converter to put behind it, which is like 1900 RPM that Mike Ivan at Top Line built for me. But this is pretty much the ideal daily driver 351. I'm usually a 302 or 50 guy, as most of the younger people know the engine. But these do make better truck engines. You know, three and a half inch stroke, you're going to have more potential for torque. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's got Molly rings and hydraulic roller cams, so once it's broken, I can run it on Mobile One 10W30 synthetic oil. Uh, has a set of uh, hardened trick flow push rods that were donated by Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, Dallas. Thank you, I appreciate that. But nothing ultra exotic, just. The engine's just a good zero mile rebuild. Um, you know, heads were milled, three angle valve job. Uh, everything's been done, you know. No stone not turned over, as some would say. I just wanted a good engine that would last me a long time, do good burnouts, run on cheap 87 octane gas, and yeah, it probably won't hit a lick or sound real radical at idle, but it should be more than enough to get the job done. Anyway, you guys have a good week. I uh, hope everybody has a good time with the No Name Nationals, and I will see y'all later.